A pediatric neurosurgery fellowship at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital provides a trainee with access to expert clinical faculty in the field, an innovative academic structure, and the resources of Johns Hopkins Medicine. We draw patients from around the globe and feature a learner-centric environment that encourages excellence in both clinical skill and scholarship. This fellowship program gave me the opportunity to explore all kinds of cases in neurosurgery, whether it is cranial and spinal tumors, cranial stenostosis, spina bifida, all specialties in neurosurgery, uh, pediatric neurosurgery are represented here. It's amazing in terms of the culture, the interactions with our attendings, the teaching that we get. They are extremely accessible, easy to talk to, happy to teach, and that is to me the most important thing from your fellowship, is having that mentorship from your attendings. Founded in 1926, Johns Hopkins All Children's is a 259-bed teaching hospital in St. Petersburg, Florida. In 2011, we became the first hospital outside the Baltimore, Washington region to join the Johns Hopkins Health System. In 2018, we opened a dedicated research and education building on the main campus, which is home to our grant-funded scientists and biorepository, the Center for Medical Simulation and Innovative Education, and the Office of Medical Education, which includes a lounge and collaborative classroom spaces for trainees. World-renowned neurosurgeon George Jallo is our Vice Dean and Physician-in-Chief and leads the Institute for Brain Protection Sciences. We have a unique educational program here at Johns Hopkins All Children's. Our trainees, aside from doing their clinical uh, responsibilities, have the opportunity to learn about clinical research as well as basic science research. There's an emphasis on the whole person and their opportunity to learn rather than just providing basic care to the children. When I was a medical student, I met Dr. Jallo, and I, with one case, saw how amazing his teaching skills and his surgical skills are. And I decided in 2012 that I wanted to learn more from him wherever that was. Dr. Matthew Smith is Chief of Pediatric Neurosurgery at Johns Hopkins All Children's and Director of the Neurosurgery Fellowship Program. He has expertise in pediatric epilepsy surgery, craniofacial surgery, and other areas of brain and central nervous system care. One of the most gratifying things that I've done in my career in my previous uh, institution was training pediatric neurosurgery fellows who've gone on to successful careers and that's something that um, I'm excited to, to emphasize and grow here. So my vision for the pediatric neurosurgery fellowship program is to recruit and attract the very best candidates and in 15 years from now to have a, uh, a roster of alumni um, who have infiltrated organized pediatric neurosurgery all over the country. A typical day of a fellow here at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital starts at 6 in the morning in the hospital. We round with the mid-level provider and the resident. And we visit all the patients and set the plan for the day. We later meet with the attendings to discuss the plan. And after that meeting, we go to surgery. Um, at surgery, we do the cases for the day. And after that, we go and visit the families, make sure that everyone's doing well for the rest of the day. Tuesday is a key day in the week of our neurosurgery fellows. The day includes a meeting of the multidisciplinary tumor board. It involves the neurosurgeons, neurologists, neuro-oncologists, pathologists, and a radiologist. Um, it prompts discussions on every patient uh, regarding surgical intervention, chemotherapy, radiation, any treatment plan that we're trying to put in place. And it helps the fellow particularly with what are the standards of care, what are the new research protocols, and how are we going to implement them. Our graduate medical education programs are strengthened by the addition of individuals with diverse backgrounds, life experiences, and talents united by a commitment to excellence. In the world of pediatrics, we have a family as our patient. We have a child that needs help, and we have potentially parents, grandparents that all want to be involved in the care. And we get teaching through our fellowship as to how to address that family unit while still prioritizing the child and be able to explain to everyone in their own terms what we're doing. The characteristics that we're most interested in a fellow candidate is integrity, honesty, um, good judgment. The technical skills and knowledge are all things that um, we enhance and tr training provides an opportunity to build on those. 
but strength of character um, and uh, a work ethic are all important elements in a fellow candidate. Mentoring a fellow is something that starts even before they work here. You know, once we match a fellow to our program, we're already thinking ahead to what that fellow needs to be successful both during their fellowship year and after they graduate from fellowship, what kind of a job they're going to be at and how they're going to excel. If you want a challenging and collegial experience that offers strong interaction with faculty, applying for a Johns Hopkins All Children's Neurosurgery Fellowship is the right choice for you. My advice to someone who is applying a fellowship is to be true to yourself. Find what you love to do, find a place that will teach you to do that, and find a mentor that will guide you through the process. Dr. Zhao has been my mentor for eight years now, almost nine, and his ability to teach people to love what he loves, I think is amazing. Um, after one case with him, it started, it sparked my interest in spinal cord tumors, and that's why I decided to be here. He gets a referral, um, basis from all over the world. He gets patients from all over the world that come here to get taken care of by him. And that has given me the opportunity to learn with every case how to get to a point where I can do this on my own.